Alright guys, I got another life story for you. And just before we get into this, yes, I know I go down many times in this map. This is super late at night. And I was just trying to grind out some gameplay for you guys. On the map High Rise, it is a custom zombie map. And it's hard. It's, it's one of the better looking custom zombie maps. Not really for rendering, but just for... Uh, how accurate it is. It is very nice. Map, Modern Warfare 2 map, very hard. Spawns super hard. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this life story. So, what we're going to be talking about today is Nerf at Night. Fun life story. I spent, like I said in um, maybe my other video, I spent a ton. I think it was the uh, Night Creature uh, life story at a few days ago. Now, this happened at the same place, like I said, grandparents' house cousin's house and one of my friend's house and at the time I'd say it was one of my best friend's house so what we did and there was tons of people on the street we would wait until it was dark and we'd play this game called nerf at night and basically what it is was everyone on the street even adults played it was that much fun everyone had nerf guns it was teams of usually it was around 4v4 to 6v6 I think one night we even had like 20 people playing and it was super lit it was so fun so let's get into it. One of my, what we did. So it was at night. If you've ever used a Nerf gun, you know what Nerf is. And I had so many guns. I think at one time I had about, well, actually all the Nerf guns. I bought every single one of the Nerf guns that they had. And it was super fun. And I collected them. I still have some of them. I have some of the best ones. My favorite one was the Firefly. Uh, it, was, it looked kind of like a P90. It was a very... Uh, up close and personal two-handed grip very fun gun to use the only problem is that you had to cock it each shot but what we did was we would go out in everyone's backyards front yards and one team would get a chance to go and basically hide or set up and you would wait for one team to kind of seek you out once you were dead you had to put your gun on the ground and just stand there with your hands on top of your head or you could sit on the grass no more moving around you couldn't do anything except play or except watch other people play so we would hide we'd get into these very good places and a lot of action happened a lot of jumping running so fun running away from getting into gunfights it was basically call of duty in a nutshell real life i it was some of the most fun that i ever had uh one night in particular that i remember to this day is um it was huge i think there was like seven people on each team and I hid. I hid in this really good spot. I hid in uh, my friend Victor's, his backyard. And um, it was very sketchy, too, because it was at night. You could hear people walking around. You didn't know if it was your team, but you knew where your team was. And we would hide. We'd wait for someone to walk by. You know, just, just corner camping, sitting in a corner, waiting for people to walk by. If we had riot shields, probably one would be out. Um, and I was sitting there. I was laying on the ground, super stealthy, had on all black clothes, had a face mask on. You could not see me. It was so dark. Dark. And I was sitting there, and someone jumped right over me. They jumped from his carport down to his grass. There was about a three-foot clearance. They were running, jumped straight through. A gunfight was happening. Another person jumped over me. I stood up, shot him in the back, got him down. Then it was me and the other guy. I think it was Vic. Uh, we were playing. His cousins came over, too. I mean, it was so much fun. And we were out there. We were out in the dark. We were trying to hide around. We climbed up top of a tree, and we were waiting for people to come around. We kept making sounds. We were going like, cuckoo, something like that to get people to come back there. And we were literally sniping them out of the tree. Um, I used my long shot. It is the sniper rifle of Nerf guns. Had a scope and everything. I was literally just scoped in, hard scoping, waiting for people to come around. Shot them, got them dead it was so fun another gun that i had is the vulcan now this is the death machine of nerf you guys should look these guns up and i remember them because i've spent so much time playing with them i, I pretty much can name any nerf gun of that time era that you sent to me i think the color scheme uh, at that time was uh blue and yellow and then it moved to black and yellow and i had all blue and yellow guns and all black and yellow guns now i don't even know what they have anymore like mega nerf guns we i wish i could still get back into it because it was so fun but i was up there and then i had the vulcan not up in the tree but i had it you all you could only use one gun at a time and you could have a reserve gun it was a pistol and you had to put that somewhere where people would see you i think it was out in the driveway 
and people would camp those guns just in case you ran out of ammo you could go and get your pistol I had the Maverick on my side the see-through Maverick limited edition and I literally I dropped it got that picked it up got some more kills and then the next game I pulled out the bad boy whenever I was seeking for people the Vulcan you literally just stand there it is a mini gun it's just and it just clips you had a clip I had a clip on my shoulder clip on the other shoulder I wore a clip around the waist and there was a clip in the gun so many bullets so much fun I lit people up that gun became banned it was like on MLG it was just too too good they banned it from me until more people started getting that gun and then people started using it and at that time I was like this guns big it takes a while for it to ramp up if I use something small I can get around them so much fun fun guys you have no idea how fun this game was i really did enjoy it so i hope you guys enjoyed this live story just nerf at night call of duty in real life peace